Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me With Me. So for those of you who are finding my channel for the very first time, my name is Marshawn and I'm the Life and Relationship Strategist. I help men and women create the relationship that they want, need, and desire. So now today, as you've seen the title, why is your relationship so hard? Let's talk about it right after this. All right, fam, thanks so much for coming back. So your relationship is very hard and you're wondering why. Why is your relationship hard? I have a hard truth for you. Yes, pun intended to go along with the title. <laughs> your relationship, sis, is very hard. Your relationship, bruh, is very hard because of you. Yes, I know that she wasn't thinking that, but you're wondering what the heck is she talking about? How can my relationship be hard because of me? It is though. It's hard because of that past baggage that you had. Maybe even how you were brought up and your family and your parents and your siblings and maybe you were teased and maybe you were said that you were not good enough and all of these things that's actually happening. That you were carrying all of this stuff with you and it's showcasing in your relationship in the form of fear. So Fear of actually letting down your guard. Fear of opening up your heart. Fear because ain't nobody going to get you like they got you before. Fear of really falling in love, even though you secretly, that's what you secretly want. You're so scared to let down your guard. You're so scared to really just give your all because of the things that happened to you in your past, which, as I talk about all the time, is your baggage. So all of this stuff is circling around in your head, and now you're like, you know what? As much as I really want to be in this relationship, as much as I really want to give my all to this relationship so it can actually work out, guess what? I just can't. I just can't do it as much as I want to do it, sis. As much as I want to do it, bruh. As much as I want to do it, mom and dad. I just can't because I'm thinking, what if I do? It's all of the what if questions. All of the what if questions are swirling around. What if I do when I get hurt? What if I let down my guard and it doesn't work out? What if he really don't like me, the real me? What if she don't like me, the real me? What do I have to gain by giving my all when I am terrified to do that? And I can tell you what you have to gain everything because the only way you will get to that blissful loving honest open relationship is you have to just give your all in spite of the fear in spite of it not working out because here's the thing you're focusing on the negative portion of it what if it does work out what if you can create that relationship that you so want, that you even dream about from time to time? You're playing the fantasy up in your head. You're living that dream up here. But in real life, you're not doing those things. See, I have clients all the time and, I, and they tell me how they want to do certain things for their spouse. But they just, they're just terrified to do it. Because what if they get rejected? But here's the thing. You're living and creating your life all up in your head because your spouse is not a mind reader so they don't know what is actually happening with you why you're not doing certain things and when the topic comes up you're never sharing these things with your spouse again for fear of judgment how are they going to take when i say this what if I actually do go and hug her or hug him and I get rejected? What if they don't want to do that right then? What if I go and ask them to participate in a different sexual position than we really than we, than we're used to doing? How would they look at me? Are they going to ask me a million and one questions? Where did I get this stuff from? Or are they going to enjoy it? And so all of this stuff, you're in your head about all of this stuff. So your relationship is harder than it needs to be. Now, listen to this. I'm not saying that your relationship is going to be easy by putting yourself out on the line, by putting yourself out there. I'm not saying that it's going to be easy in the beginning because it's not. You're going to feel like, 
um, I really want to say some things. You're, you might even be sweating in your armpits or even physically like seeing the sweat because you're so nervous to say these things, to ask for these things. But if you don't, you'll only be pissed off. You'll only be talking to your friends and family about all of the things that you're not receiving from your spouse, from your partner. So why do that? Why do we do these things to ourselves? You're making your relationship a lot harder than it needs to be. If only you decide to open up your mouth and say what it is that you need, say what it is what you want. You might even get some resistance, but it's okay as long as they start practicing, as long as they start showcasing it to you. It might take them a little while to get into the groove of doing it um, as often as you would like because it's not something that you're that they're also used to doing right so you're getting them out of their comfort zone as well but if you never step out of your comfort zone they'll never step out of their comfort zone and then you have these two strangers in the household where everything is surface level that's why you would be strangers because that deeper level that deeper level where you two can be connected you will never get there because of your fear, because you're thinking that you're going to be rejected, because you never open up your mouth and ask for what you want, because that fear is holding you back from all of the things that was programmed in you, all the things that you were told. And most of the time, sis and bruh, every sis and bruh, <laughs> everything that we're thinking about is going to happen usually never happens and so all of that fear that we're holding on to it usually never comes to fruition so why is it that we just feel the fear and do it anyway why don't we just feel the fear and do it anyway because of the unknown we don't know what's on the other side of it and so again all of the what if questions but all of those what if questions could go out the door. You really could create the life, create the relationship that you want and realize that it's not as hard as you think it is. If you just open up your mouth and ask for what you want and do what your partner needs as well, because it's not all about you. Yes, I'm talking about you right now, but it's not all about you. You can only create a relationship with another party involved obviously yes the relationship with yourself but we're talking about romantic relationships here today the only way you will reach that blissful like that relationship that other people are envious of other people are asking you oh my god how are you doing it i would love to have a guy like him i would love to have a guy like a girl a girl like her how are you guys so connected you seem so in love all of that takes practice for some people, it does come naturally, but they still have to work at it. For most people, it's natural in the beginning, in the infatuation stage. And once the infatuation stage goes away and the rose-colored glasses come off, we start to see the real person. We start to see the quirks and the, um, the annoying things that they do. And it's just like, did I choose right or did I choose wrong? And so we have all of these questions swirl, swirling around in our head and we never address them. And each moment and time passes and it's stacking up and it's stacking up and it's stacking up. They never have to stack up if you just address it when it happens. Sometimes you need to wait as in a few hours or even a couple days, but you need to address it. Because if you don't address it, you might think that it has something to do with you, depending on what it is, depending on what the situation is or what you need to address, right? You might think that it's you. And most of the time, it's not you. Most of the time, it's something that's going on with your partner and their stuff. But you don't know that because you're not asking the questions. And so you start to internalize it yourself. So don't make your relationship harder than it needs to be have the tough conversations i talk about this in my book which is coming out in two weeks i'll be releasing it in two weeks so yes look out for that the title of my book is 20 ways to create an awesome love story
but I talk about the tough conversations because so many people run away from the tough conversations. And that is a way, that is a secret way, but it's a way to create your own awesome love story. So anytime a conversation that comes up and you feel that it's tough, think about it and guess what? Go have the conversation. Don't make your relationship harder than it needs to be. I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.